What's a really easy way to set up site search? Would it be elastic search? Hey, what's up? It's marketalchemist.camp where we learn Elixir and Phoenix and more by building things. Today, we're going to talk about doing site search with Postgres. So elastic search is definitely a way to do site search and it's pretty robust. It's also not the simplest thing you could do. It's a little bit overkill. Uh, another option might be like what I've done. Uh, I just put every single episode in one big giant long page and then you can search by hitting command F and then typing in whatever it is that you're interested in learning. Uh, this may be underkill even for me at this point. So we're gonna look at a middle of the road approach using Postgres and uh, pretty simple text queries. So let's uh, first shut down the server and then we'll make the terminal a little bit bigger and we're going to use uh, PSQL and we'll just use pure Postgres. If you know uh, Phoenix or Rails or whatever, you can figure out how to put this in your code. So we'll do PSQL and the name of my database is campsite dev. I actually just copied my whole production database into local last time. So you might want to check out that video if you want to see how to do it. But this is my production data. I'm just on local right now. So uh, the simple thing you can do is just use a like. So let's get all the episode, uh, all the episode titles for now. We'll just do select uh, title from episodes and you can see we have many titles um, in order to filter those actually let's take a little bit longer of a look in order to filter those down we have uh, a couple of tools and the probably the first one the the more commonly used one is a wildcard match so we can select title from episodes where title like and then in single quotes we'll put in uh, this sign it's just a wild card that matches anything so if we have an e at the beginning and then the wild card we'll get all the episodes that start with e and similarly if we had an a we'll get all the ones that start with a now maybe we don't care if the e or the a is in the middle maybe we just want everything that includes the word live so we can do live like so and we only have one result automated deployment with distillery and e-deliver well that's where the live came from um, but what about all those others that we just saw a moment ago with live view well what happened there is live view is a noun so i've capitalized all the l's in that we can find anything with live view by changing that to a capital L. Now, the Postgres, not all of SQL, but Postgres only has I like. So you can do a case insensitive like to find anything that matches lowercase or capital L I V E and has a wild card on either side. But we could also just have a single missing character. And I think in order to illustrate this, it'll make more sense if we look at the uh, the tags in the database. So we'll select star from topics. I believe that's what I have called them. And we see IDs and texts. Okay, so the text is what we want. So we'll select text from topics. And we have a lot of topics that are mostly single words. Now maybe we want to get all of the topics that are only three letters long and start with a capital C. So to do that, we do select text from topics where text uh, like C and then we can just do an underscore for the, uh, the missing characters. So we can see we've got a CLI and we've got a CMS. If we make that an I like, uh, we've still got a CLI and a CMS. And if we allow wildcards before and after, actually that, that second 
uh, that second space has no meaning anymore because uh, if we have a C followed by two of anything followed by any number of anything so maybe we'll just uh, we'll just do that and we have a surprising number here so we have uh, command matching com and comprehensions matching the same actually most of those are but we also have like a camp and a come on in documentation commenting now of course if it weren't case insensitive it would be a lot less between these two things between uh, finding a single gap character and wild cards either at the beginning or the end of something and you can even have multiple of them you can have like a wild card a better example would be if we look at the episode text get uh, star from so we're gonna look at the full text of episodes so we we'll get everything from episodes as e one second shoot that's not what we wanted Actually, let's try that again. So we're going to get uh, just the title from the episodes, and then we'll make sure that the text of the episode, which is called content, so where content ep, where e dot content, I like, and we can give it multiple things. So we could say where the content has somewhere in it uh, solve and then later maybe you know maybe immediately later maybe maybe not we have problem and then we have anything else in the text and with this query we have five titles we have threatened by rooks bishops at night stream iterate advent of code day one so all of these somewhere have the word solve and then after that somewhere they have the word problem and using something like this you know you can throw together a pretty quick search bar and let people search for uh, obviously the titles is super trivial but you could even you know do a full text search on the content of your blog posts or whatever and pull up the titles and uh, you know IDs or whatever information you need related to it and you know obviously this only scales to a certain limit but it'll take you further than you might think and uh, I would give it a try if you have a, a smaller project that you're looking to add search to hope you found this useful and I'll see you next time